Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a drugstore everyday makeup tutorial starting off with the Master Prime primer. This one is to conceal any redness that you have on your face and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Then using the e.l.f. BB cream, I'm going to use that as my foundation and I'm going to apply it with the Morph M439 brush just to buff it in all over my face. This brush is perfect because it does have dense bristles to it so it applies it more perfectly. Let me just zoom it in so that you guys can go ahead and see better. Next, using the Better Skin Concealer, I'm going to conceal under my eyes in a triangle formation just to brighten up my under eyes and conceal any darkness that I have. using the Morph E8. This is perfect for concealing, for blending out the concealer under the eye because it can get into the small areas and it's very affordable. So you can definitely go check that out on the Morphe website. I believe it's $5.99. This is perfect and it's now my go-to concealer brush. And with the same brush, I'm going to go in with the Fit Me um, setting powder and just go ahead and set that concealer so it won't go anywhere. We're going to set under our eyes, on the bridge of our nose, on our forehead, anywhere where you put the concealer. And now using the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer, gonna apply that where I would contour and this is perfect because it contours perfectly and I'm gonna do that using a morph powder brush on my forehead temples cheekbones on the sides of my jaw but not on my chin because that would make my chin smaller and I want an oval shape. And using the E8, I'm going to contour my nose lightly just to kind of define it more. Now with the Milani Rose Blush, I am going to put that on the apple of my cheeks using a Morph G0 brush and this is perfect for powder. Honestly, this is like my go-to powder brush now. Now with the Wet n Wild bronzer, since this is a light bronzer and it has kind of like a sheen to it, I am going to use it as a highlight. And since I did want more of a highlight on my high points of my cheeks I ended up using the wet and wild palette as you'll see in a second I used the shade that goes on the brow bone I put that on the brow bone and on the apples of my cheeks down the bridge of my nose basically anywhere where you concealed that's where you're going to add the highlight. I'm using the Wet n Wild Eye Primer. This is, I believe, the Fergie one. I'm going to apply that all over my eyelids. Just as a base for your eyeshadow. Using the e.l.f. Prism Eyeshadow Palette in the curl... In the... Sorry, in the... <laughs> In the natural, I believe, or naked. I believe it's naked 
Expedition with the M441 brush. I am going to go ahead and use that to apply it all over my lid and just blend it all out. Now using a more defined Morphe brush, I'm going to take the darkest shade in the palette and apply that on the outer V of my eye and in the crease. I'm going very light-handed because this is an everyday look. It's not something super glam. Now I'm just going to go ahead and blend it all together so it can look nice and even. Now using the lightest shade, I'm going to go ahead and brighten that inner corner so I can look more awake. And apply some of that color that we used on our lids under our bottom lashes. And using the, sorry about that, my dog is barking, L'Oreal Telescopic, we're gonna go ahead and put that mascara on our lashes. And at this point, I was very angry <laughs> because I smeared my mascara twice. Using the BH Cosmetics Brow Pencil, I'm going to use this as an alternative to the Anastasia one. And I'm going to go ahead and just outline the shape of my brows with it. I'm using this as an alternative because this is way cheaper than the Anastasia one and it works just as good. And now with the spoolie, just make sure you got everything blended out how you like it. And using the Milani, I believe it's kind of like a pomade, I am going to go ahead and fill in the gaps in my brows. Basically just anywhere we have hair missing. Okay, and now using the Maybelline Brow Drama Brow Gel. Basically this is just gonna make my eyebrows Stay in place all day. I'm now using the NYX Matte Lip Cream. I am going to go ahead and apply that all over my lips. Okay, and after that we are all done. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments below. And see you next time. Bye.